fully solar power is going to go, not only because of the advantages, but I've heard a number of people saying, you know, the upfront cost to get it onto the roof now is a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, the upfront cost is a challenge. Uh, however, most of the banks and the credit unions, there's financing for that. And if you balance what you're paying your for your electricity now against what you pay, if you get a loan, it's, it's just what the banks are trying to bring it in line. Um, besides that, uh, we do some financing and then we try to advise people on if they've got a little savings, it is better to put it in solar and save two, three hundred dollars a month where they would not be getting any interest at all if it was sitting on the bank. Have you found too that a lot more people are moving towards solar now that the, the, the conversation is a ordinary thing now? It's yeah, like the, demand, thing now. the demand has definitely grown significantly over the year, last year or so and we would advise anybody to capitalize on it now that all of the materials are still available fairly quickly and uh, and um, now that it is it is still possible to import stuff you know every day um, as you need it um, the way things are going it's looking like a slowdown challenges with shipping all those things but you should really jump on the bandwagon now because the, we have been having power failures throughout the country, you know, periodically, and then hurricane season coming in, and uh, if we lose power for three days, all your food is going to be spoiled. And you remember what it was like during uh, the St. Vincent volcano dust? So you 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 would know then that thing. Uh, we were at a point where we didn't even know electricity was off at some point because our power was running flawlessly both in our office and at my home. This is in St. Vincent? No, this is here, yeah. Both at the office and at home. So I would advise anybody to really capitalize on getting, in, uh, even if they get a small system, and then upgrade it afterwards. It's reassuring and everything at night. And, um, and if a hurricane passes, we will put on the solar and so on, build the house to be hurricane resistant. So that you, you will have electricity when even if the grid goes down. So I, I think it's a, it's the way we should go in Barbados. We should be designing our homes to be powered from the sun. And um, it it doesn't mean it doesn't push up the cost of the drain, but it saves the cost of the electricity, and that will help you pay for the house.